Bank holiday weekend, Daisy's birthday weekend actually. I'm out for a quick spin with Jimmy and Emily before we head over to Manchester and we were looking forward to a lovely sunny day. Um, but it's not, it's foggy and dark. Who's this faker? Stealing my moves. Outrageous behaviour. Rumour on the street is though they were rubbish. This bit's nice here, isn't it? Oh, it's all nice. It's got a nice view. But not today. Jimmy's borrowed my other mountain bike today. First time he's ever ridden a mountain bike. Brakes are the wrong way around because I ride him Euro. Never used a dropper seat post before either, so he's enjoying that. You got you adjusted your saddle height, Jimmy. Which one is this? Is it this button or is that the ejector seat? Hey! Oh, it's so horrible. Feels weird. You're not supposed to pedal it, are you? Why? What's the point in it then? Well, on all the technical descents on this ride that we're going to do today along a flat gravel track. It is a pretty cool way of adjusting saddle height though. Maybe they should have them on all of the like, um, you know those like city bikes. Like rental rent. bikes, yeah. Just dropper saddles. Yeah, I'm sure that's worth it. Uber expensive dropper. Carbon fibre KS droppers, yeah. yeah. People will be able to get their saddle height much quicker. Time is money. Pretty big parts over here. Oh, look at that ditch. She's She's losing the gilet already. She's not ridden a bike in six months and she's just slung a slung a vest off whilst riding. People really love road cycling, Jimmy, so there's the section for today's video. This is your first ride in how long? Uh, I did one two months ago, and before that I hadn't done one for six months. Nice. Yes. I blame Bella for that. For two reasons. Number one, she had to be supervised, and number two, bending down for her so much just absolutely effed my back up. Did it? I was like, could not move. So the ride that I did two months ago was a reverse loop of this. And there's a massive hill up there, and just, it was just very, very hilly, which is usually fine. But I got off the bike at the end and I couldn't stand up straight. Well, you're doing fine. We dropped Jimmy. Yeah, it's fine now. He's gone. Yes. Well out the back. He's trying to work out how the gears work on the mountain bike stuff. <laughs> Little pit stop on the bench. Spin round. Otherwise, I'm going to be late to Manchester. And we don't want to be late to Manchester. Plan is to catch up with Joe and Tony, who have been in the videos before. Tony definitely has, whose crank fell off in South Africa. And the idea will be no bikes, enjoy the weekend. Let's stay in Tony's flat. Manchester. I've never been to Manchester before. I don't know, is that what to expect? Well, Techno and Raves in the Gallagher Brothers. Who's those guys that put a donk on it? Is that the Blackout Crew? Put a donk on it? Yeah. Oh, as in, that's not the TikTok song, is it? I yeah. predict it will become a TikTok song. Someone in the comments is going to know. Put a donk on it. Oh, wicked. I'll put a donk on it. Let's go donk on it. Oh, on it. <laughs> I bought a waterproof, a waterproof Bluetooth speaker that I haven't worked out yet how to attach it to a bike. It's pretty, Fidlock. It's pretty hench, mind. Fidlock. But it's like, well, it's the one I, you've seen, you've seen the tubey one I've got in the office. Yeah. So that's like got 15 hours of charge. Strap it to a bike, donk on it. Toasty now, that's what it's all about. We're now heading back and we've got one giant, giant climb to finish off the ride, which was fun coming down. Not gonna be as fun going up. Legs feeling a little bit weird today, actually. And I'll explain why later on in today's video. I had some work done to them yesterday, which was well overdue. And basically the result of me only riding a road bike for 10 years, causing a few problems. Do you like it? It's amazing how like, you can see like big potholes and just the like geometry of it, you don't even register them, which is so weird. Yeah. Because I've spent years just kind of going, oh shit, that void a pole. Whereas you just I don't know. Right it just over feels it. so it just feels unbelievably sturdy, doesn't it? It inspires a lot of confidence. It does, yeah. I've basically not used the suspension at all. So are you gonna join me in Hamsterley when I'm back from Manchester? No. no. Yes. Disappointing. Yes, yeah, come on. We can do the blue runs. <laughs> Oh, no, what's the 
Isn't it well nice the previous owners put a bike wash area in our house? Do you think they're upset that we reckon they're decking? I don't think they're upset at all. They sold the house, presumably for a price they were happy with, and therefore they probably don't even think about it anymore. Sorry to break oh, it to you. I know you think they think about you looking yeah, after their house. They're like, like a little housekeeper. But no. So I'm living in someone's no house and ruining their decking. Who doesn't do it? So we've got about two and a half hours drive to Manchester. I feel very underdressed, Daisy. You look beautiful and, and made up and you, your hair looks really nice and I'm just in a t-shirt and shorts. I don't own any smart clothes. Am I going to be in trouble? Are we going somewhere posh and I just haven't prepared at all? What I've done is brought a black t-shirt with me. And that, I think, is smart enough to, to get me through. I'm actually a bit sad that we haven't got bikes with us because apparently the roads around Manchester are really nice. Tony posts this stuff and it looks like a great time. One hour to go, making good progress. So welcome to Manchester. Tony's very kindly lending us his flat for us to stay in. Check out the view. Still a bit wobbly looking over that balcony. Though. So here's a really random section of video, but I think you guys might find it interesting. Basically, I've been riding road bikes almost exclusively for about 10 years now. And I've also been really bad at walking. Sounds ridiculous, I know. I've always walked a bit like a penguin with my feet sticking out. And I always thought it was because of all the riding that I was doing and like muscle imbalances and that kind of thing. Yesterday, I went to see a specialist just to see if anything could be done and now I can walk completely straight. Probably can't see it on the camera. I think what I have is a various tilt. So the curve kind of like this. I end up walking with my feet out like that to compensate and I've noticed a lot of other cyclists doing this as well. Turns out it may not be the cycling that's caused this to happen because it's more down to the shape of your feet and your genetics and how you were born basically. But she was saying that you may find a lot of people gravitating towards cycling because it's such a low impact sport the pedal motion is easy to deal with and that might be why there's a lot of people with similar problems to this that have found cycling and they can still do it whereas if I'd have tried to be a marathon runner I would have had real problems in order to be able to walk straight and actually use my big toes and the inside of my foot I've got these quite big correctional insoles in and a massive wedge at the front of them as well to raise that part of my foot so it engages and I've got to say it is a revelation anyone else in the comments walk like a penguin because you're all cyclists I know some of you are out there. Right, now, beer o'clock. We're not taking you to Manchester, we're going to take you to Didsbury, which what? is the nice part of Manchester. So I've come all the way here, we're not actually going to see Manchester. No. <laughs> we'll see a bit of it. We're on a tight schedule. I'm hoping that we've got some nice drinks, which will go to a little bit of food, and then shots, and then more drinks, um, and then we might end up back here for more drinks. Well, there's no bikes. So I'm not even sure the camera's going to be allowed at some point. So I normally have a bit of an issue, guys, because Daisy's a tiny bit taller than me, but usually you can't notice. Today she's put her DMs on. And it's done like that. Where's 